गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू योर मैथ्स क्लास स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो वट इज दिस यस दिस इज अ क्लॉक नाउ टेल मी वट डज अ क्लॉक टेल क्लॉक टेल्स अस टाइम डू यू नो द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ यूजिंग अ क्लॉक clock helps us to organize and manage our daily routine let's discuss in the morning at 7 o'clock we wake up get ready for our work at 8 o'clock we have our breakfast and then go to school or at work at 12 o'clock it's noon we take our lunch at 1 o'clock then we take a small nap we do our homework at 4 o'clock in the evening at 6 o'clock we go out to play we have milk in the evening at night it's dark we have our dinner at 8 o'clock and at 10 o'clock we go to the bed this is the routine that we all follow with the help of a clock so we should know how to watch time in a clock first of all we should know that a day has 24 hours 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds the clock is divided into 12 equal sections each section have a number like 1 2 3 4 up to 12 every clock shows numbers and has two hands the small hand is the hour hand and the big hand is the minute hand The front face of the clock is called dial. The sections between numbers are divided into 5 minute segment. For every number, the minute hand represents 5 minutes. When minute hand points to 12 and hour hand points to any number on the clock, the time is read as o'clock. here the clock shows 1 o'clock now 2 o'clock now the clock shows 5 o'clock now 6 o'clock let's understand with the help of examples when the hour hand moves from number 5 to number 6 the minute hand completes one round as we all know there are 60 minutes in an hour we divide our time in quarters and halves at minute 15 we say it's quarter past so when it's 7:15 we say it's quarter past 7 or when it is 1:15 we say quarter past 1 at minute 45 we say it's quarter to next hour for example 5:45 we say it's quarter to 6 or 15 minutes before 6 at minute 30 we say it's half past so at 5:30 we say it's half past 5 or half an hour after 5 to understand the time we need to know the skip counting by 5 when the minute hand is on 1 it is 5 minutes when the minute hand is on 2 it is 10 minutes when the minute hand is on 3 it is 15 minutes or we can say quarter past when the minute hand is on 4 it is 20 minutes 
when the minute hand is on 5 it is 25 minutes when the minute hand is on 6 it is 30 minutes or we can say half past when the minute hand is on 7 it is 35 minutes when the minute hand is on 8 it is 40 minutes when the minute hand is on 9 it is 45 minutes or we can say quarter to yes when the minute hand is on 10 it is 50 minutes when the minute hand is on 11 it is 55 minutes when the minute hand is on 12 it is o'clock here the hour hand is on 3 and the minute hand is on 2 so the time is 3:10 now in the next clock the hour hand is on 7 and the minute hand is on 5 and the time is 7:25 in this way you will understand how to see time on a clock students do you remember how many hours are there in a day yes tell me there are 24 hours in a day now look at a clock a clock has only 12 hours on it but there are 24 hours in each day it means the hour hand spins around the clock two times a day 12 o'clock happens twice a day but how can we tell one 10 o'clock is different from the another 10 o'clock here we use the term am and pm am is the first half of the day it starts from midnight and ends at noon am stands for anti meridium am means just before noon PM is the second half of the day. It starts at noon and ends at midnight. PM stands for post meridium, which means afternoon. Students, after watching the video, I hope you all will be able to watch the time in the clock. Thank you, my lovely students.